Hi everyone, my name is Mackenzie Gillespie. I attended Winthorpe High School. I'm a graduate of 2019. So this is my second year at Vernon College. Um, during my spare time, of course, I enjoy watching Netflix. I'm a big movie junkie, love it. And I also give private softball lessons to younger girls who are just starting out because my senior year, I made it to state, the state softball game, and it was really such an amazing experience, and I, I want them to be able to experience that the way that I did. I also have a younger brother. His name's Gage. He is very athletic. He's very into sports. He attends Archer City High School, and I enjoy watching him play football, basketball, baseball, and he also runs track. Um, I chose to study at Vernon College because originally I wanted to go into the nursing program and of course everyone knows Vernon College has an excellent nursing program but at the end of my freshman year last year I decided to go a different route. Um, there was an MSU professor who came and talked to us about the respiratory therapy and I really really I looked into it and I told my parents, you know, I think this is really something I wanted to do. And them being as supportive as they always are, they were like, yes, you should do that. That's amazing. And so I will be graduating in May from Vernon with my associates in science. And I will attend MSU next fall to start the respiratory therapy program. The reason I think communication skills will really help me in my workplace is because, you know, you're constantly going to be dealing with patients and new co-workers and doctors and if there's something that doesn't get communicated right or the right way, it could be very fatal. And also, patients that are in the hospital, you know, they're already under stress, they don't know what's happening, and if you're not sociable with them, they're gonna be very uncomfortable in the environment in there that they're in, and that's not good. None of us would wanna feel that way. After watching Kelly McGonagall's Make Stress Your Friend, I really enjoyed the way that she gave her speech because she interacted with the crowd very well. She, you know, kept them laughing, kept asking them questions. It made it to where the crowd's not so bored, you know, we've always been to everyone has been to a speech or something that they just get so bored with that they just don't even want to be there anymore. I mean, I know I have at least. So while giving my speeches, I'm going to try to learn from her from interacting with the crowd and making them laugh and showing the studies that she showed, the facts. I think that was really good and really interesting. My mindset, I'm not gonna lie, when I was younger, I definitely had a fixed mindset. You know, I someone would tell me something I was doing wrong and I would get defensive about it and upset about it and it was really stressful. I mean, it was really like, wow, I'm not doing that wrong, they're wrong. But since after playing sports, you know, growing up, growing up playing sports, being coached by different coaches, playing with different teams, it really made me see that they're just trying to help me and they just want me to be better. And they're just trying to better me in every way. I think playing in athletic competitions growing up is really good because it does teach you to have a growth mindset. It teaches you that there's always something you can do better. You're never good enough. You're, you can always, yeah, how do I put this? You can always go up. You know, you can choose to stay with your fixed mindset. You can stay at the level you're at, but you're never going to succeed unless you have that growth mindset and you level up to that. Um, online versus face-to-face. -face. When I first started, I did not think I could do online. I wanted face-to-face, -to -face, all of my classes face-to-face -face because I was really worried about the teachers and you know being able to ask them questions and all of that but you know last semester we kind of got thrown for a curve and we had to learn how to do online classes because we really didn't have a choice and bringing back that growth mindset I think that really 
you know, it adapting to that made my mindset grow to, you know, in the workforce, it's not always going to be that, that same thing over and over. You're going to be thrown for loops. You just have to learn to adapt to it and do the best you can in it. And that's how I'm doing with these online classes. I'm trying to do my best and I'm working as hard as I can, trying to stay on schedule. And I also think these online classes have really helped my scheduling. And that's something I really need to learn how to do my scheduling myself because I'm not very good at it, not gonna lie. But, you know, online classes have really helped me get my days together and working on top of school. I work part-time at American National Bank and so online really works with my schedule very well. So I really do enjoy the online classes. Thank you.